morning and welcome to HTA Kids Online. My name's Lucy and this week we're going to be continuing looking at the fruits of the spirit. But before I tell you which fruit of the spirit we're doing this week, I wonder if you can remember which ones we've done already. Why don't you shout them out? Um, I'll give you a clue. We've done three so far. So far we've looked at joy, love, and last week we looked at the story when Jesus was asleep in the middle of a storm. We looked at peace. And this week we're going to be looking at patience. So I'm going to hand over to Michael, who's going to give us a quick little introduction to patience. It's Patience Week here on the Coastline Kids Online Experience. So let's start the bit before the bit with a video to test our patience. Right, a bit of dominoes. Oh, that is so annoying. <laughs> yeah, this is really going to test my patience. Okay, what have we got? Soup and a spoon. No, no, don't let it fall in. Ah, oh, no. Okay, right, matches. Lighting a match, nice and easy. Okay, yeah. Oh, no. Split it. Okay, getting the USB in. This is a nightmare. Always upside down, isn't it? Always upside down. Come on. That's, is that way around? <laughs> oh. no. <laughs> when you pull the paper out, it goes wrong. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. Always the IKEA label. So sticky. What has he done there? What is wrong with him? That is not where you get the pizza out. What is happening? There's too much. There's too many. Oh, no. <laughs> jam on the floor. Oh. Right, hammering a nail in. Oh, that's a bit wonky, isn't it? No, stop. Stop. It's all wrong. Oh. Keeps missing. Oh my goodness, these are too many. Too many to handle. Wow. I don't know about you, but that video definitely tested my patience a little bit. Patience isn't always something that I find very easy. Sometimes waiting for things is really hard. And in, a wor in our world, people always seem to be in a hurry. And if we can't get things immediately or quickly, we can often find that we become quite impatient. Let's join Michael and the professor to have a closer look at patience. It is Patience Week on the Coastline Kids Online Experience and we've been in the smoothie bar in the past few weeks looking at what the Bible calls the fruits of the Spirit, which are the qualities that grow in us when we're a friend of Jesus. Now, patience is a rare quality these days. We're always in so much of a hurry, aren't we? So should we spend some time singing together now? While we're in the musical mood, let's worship Jesus together with some music. I'm gonna pray for us. God, thank you that we can worship you with songs and that it is really fun. Amen.
Really wish I could have seen it for sure. When they looked in the tomb, they were asking everybody, yo, where did he go? Cause he's not here. And the soldiers out there, looking all spook while they're trembling in fear. Asking each other what really happened out here. J E S E S, one day, put to death. Third day, rose again. Power in his hand with a master plan. He already knew before the world begins. And he wants you to know he's coming again. So go run and tell your family, friends. Jesus is alive, yo, sing it again. frustrated by no one breaking a world record that I decided to step up to the plate again and take on Michael in a head-to-head -head world record challenge. Now, today's challenge is to balance as many coins on your face as possible in 60 seconds. The record currently stands at 57 coins balancing. That is crazy. Now, you must be standing up and may not balance your head on anything. Are you ready, Michael? Uh, yeah, of course I'm ready, Ivan. In case you haven't realized, I've won the past two weeks in a row. I may not have beaten a world record, but I destroyed Pete and Sammy. So, Professor Ivan, you are going down. Loser. That's where you're wrong. I am definitely going to win. I'm going to beat you and we'll beat the world record. And the loser will get a pie at the end of the episode. Okay, ready? The game begins Four. in three, two, one. Let's go, let's go. Okay, utilizing, I'm a very sweaty man. So I'm utilizing my sweat here, going straight for the forehead to start with, just balance these on my face. I think I'm doing okay. Oh, now remember, they're not allowed to balance on top of each other. I can't believe the world record is 57. That means like what? less than one second. I think I'm doing really, really well. Michael, you're going to stink oh, at this. Oh gosh, okay, we're starting to the fall. The glasses in here is very helpful. Just keep adding them on, okay. <laughs> oh, did well there, had a little slip up, but it landed on the nose. Right. These are coins are slippery. Okay. I hope. Oh, I mean, I'm sure. I've got to be Ivan like this, right? This is brilliant. Oh, gosh. 10 seconds left. Oh, gosh, we're losing them now. All right. Oh, make sure they stay on at the end. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's count the points. One. Two, that one that just fell off. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 14, 15, 16. Woo! Right then, let's count up, see if I can beat Ivan. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yes, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I will take that 20 big ones in your face, Ivan. <laughs> You're getting part at the end of the episode. I cannot believe it. How the heck did you do it, Michael? I think you remained so calm and composed. For me, I was just all over the place. Scatty, 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 bombati. <laughs> anyway, yes. I get pied at the end of the episode. That is rubbish. Brilliant. I cannot wait to see him get pied a little bit later on. Now, as we've been looking at the fruits of the spirit, we've also been following through in the Bible, looking at parts of Jesus's life where he displays some of the fruits of the spirit. And today is no different. We're going to be reading today from Matthew 15 verses 32 to 39. It is called Jesus Feeds the 4,000. Very exciting. Uh, I'm going to read along, but of course, we're going to need some acting as we go so that hopefully you can really picture what it might have been like to be there in today's Budget Bible Bits. Then Jesus called his disciples and told them, 
I feel sorry for these people. They've been here with me for three days and they have nothing left to eat. I don't want to send them away hungry or they'll faint along the way. The disciples replied, Where would we get enough food here in the wilderness for such a large crowd? Jesus asked, How much bread do you have? They replied, Seven loaves and a few small fish. So Jesus told all the people to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, thanked God for them and broke them into pieces. He gave them to the disciples who distributed the food to the crowd. They all ate as much as they wanted. Afterwards, the disciples picked up seven large baskets of leftover wow, food. such a big, big basket and he's so full of bread. There were 4,000 men who were fed that day. Two, three, this can take flipping ages. In addition to all the women and children. Then Jesus sent the people home and he got into a boat and crossed over to the region of Magadan. Now then, I think you probably might have heard a famous part of the Bible where Jesus feeds 5,000 people from a bit of bread and some fish. It's quite a well-known story, but today's Bible passage is probably slightly less well-known because frankly, it's less impressive. The first time Jesus did a big feeding miracle, it was 5,000 people. And this second time, it was just 4,000 people. Pathetic, right? Now, the fascinating thing here for me is the disciples. They were Jesus' friends who were hanging out with him all the time. You would think that after seeing Jesus feed 5,000 people with some fish and bread, that when Jesus is with 4,000 people and says, let's feed them, they'd remember the massive miracle that happened before and go, sure, here's the bread and fish we have. Multiply it like you did before. But no, they ask how they're going to feed so many people again. This would make me pretty impatient. But not Jesus. He just gets on with feeding the crowd. Jesus shows real patience with his friends, the disciples. They constantly get things wrong and don't understand things, but he never got angry with them. He was always patient. I don't know about you, but I don't like waiting. Whenever I'm in the shop getting food, I always try and figure out which queue is gonna be the fastest to go down. I usually try and see which is the longest combined with which has the most old people in. They tend to be super slow. And then I choose the other queue, right? So I can get there fastest. In fact, I've been furious that during lockdown, I've sometimes had to queue to even go in a shop. I don't like waiting for new TV shows to come out. I don't like waiting to have to play a game. I want everything now. I'd like to know if you're the same. Take a moment to pause the video and talk about what makes you impatient. It's hard to wait, isn't it? But the Bible talks about the fruits of the Spirit, and one of them is patience. Patience means being able to wait without becoming annoyed. One of the hardest things to be patient about is people. Sometimes people can make us so impatient. Our friends might constantly let us down, our teacher might never pay attention to us, or even worse than both of those, our brother or sister might always break our things. To show people love in the same way that Jesus loves us is to be patient with them, even when they make mistakes. Think about how patient Jesus was with his friends when they'd forget things, like the fact that he fed 5,000 people with less fish and less bread than the amount of the 4,000 people that they were with. We're gonna take a moment now to pause the video and answer the questions that are on the screen. And then after that, you can pray with each other. Let's spend a bit of time now chatting to Jesus. I love to tell him more about me and I love to hear from Jesus too. And one of the great ways to do that is with chat and catch. Now, the first stage is the chat stage. Imagine you're with your friends after you've done something super cool like going bowling or swimming and you probably would love to tell them all about it. So that's what we're going to do with Jesus. We're gonna tell him all about ourselves. And you can do this at any time, but how it's gonna to work today is I'll give you a question and then you can tell Jesus the answer, either by talking to him in your head or by whispering into your hands. Everyone ready? Good. Right, the first thing to tell Jesus is if you drew everything that came into your head, what would you be drawing right now? What's popping into your head? Okay, the next question that you're gonna to answer to Jesus. If you could do anything in the world for your next birthday, what would you do?
And then finally, we're going to tell Jesus the thing that we get most frustrated at waiting for. Why don't you tell him that now? Okay, great. Next is the catch part, where we're going to see if we can catch anything that God might be trying to say to us. I'll give you a question to ask to Jesus, and then quite often for me, when I ask it, something pops into my head. If it's a good thing, it might be from God. If it's not, we're just going to ignore it and see if you get a good answer, okay? So, the question that you're going to ask Jesus today is, what makes you happy? You might want to close your eyes to help you concentrate. Amazing. Some of you will have caught something and some people won't and that's completely okay. Today I caught something I think I caught that Jesus was saying the thing that makes him happy is his children, which is you and me. Now sometimes I don't catch anything at all and that can be a great way to grow in patience, to learn to wait even longer for God to say something to you. I know it's really hard, but it's great to practice patience. Right, let's worship together.
Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. It would have been pretty lame to just do this on my own. Uh, but it is time to end, unfortunately. And of course, that means we need to get a little bit messy. Obviously, earlier on, we were balancing coins on our faces and I destroyed Ivan like I knew I would. <laughs> in your face. So it is time for Ivan to pie himself. Are you ready? Well, he did not go to plan in the slightest. I am very, very angry, but I will give you people what you want. You want a nice, nice pie. Okay, here we go then. More, 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 more. Stop. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a pie. In fact, Thank you so much for joining us. I'll see you again next week. Stop stalling for time and get on with it. Okay, fine. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Isn't it really comforting that like with the disciples, Jesus is always patient with us and he can help us to be patient with other people around us. Thank you for watching um, and join us next week to look at another fruit of the spirit.